How y'all doing? Welcome on back to more dredge. Day four of our fishing journey. Let's talk to this guy, shall we? I know of any shipwrecks. Yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere, in one of those wrecks. All alone in the cold, dark water. Damn. I well, should do some dredging. If able to retrieve any of his belongings, I think he'd feel more at peace. Or a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. Yikes, that would suck. Um, man, I just traded that too. Well, either way, let's do it. Actually, do I want to head on out? It's it's almost a. Uh, Maybe we just rest. Rest till the morning. Um, so I owe y'all owe y'all a story. I meant to talk about it. And I didn't. Um, we were talking about some fishing stories, though, I remember. I didn't get a chance to finish what I wanted to share with y'all. So I had uh, quite a few fishing stories. Um, I don't even remember what I was going to talk about. Was it my biggest fish? Now, let's just talk the story about the biggest fish I've ever caught. That's, that's a fun one. So, anyway, we were, uh, we were offshore, obviously. We were catching giant fish onshore. So we're, we're offshore doing a little bit of fishing. And you know, we're not, not getting a whole lot. A whole, whole lot of nothing. We're getting uh, you know, some sea bass here and there. Nothing that, like, you want to see. You know, you go offshore, you hope to hit, like, some mahi, some grouper, something big. Something that's, that's going to be tasty. We're not getting any of that. So we're just cruising and cruising and cruising. Eventually, we start dropping lines, and we are pulling up red snapper. And I don't mean just like a little bit of red snapper. I mean like, holy bejesus, we hit the mother load of red snapper. Now, if you've never seen a red snapper, these are these are pretty pretty big fish. Think about a fish that's like almost the size of your chest or uh, you know for, for, for my parents out there this fish is easily big enough that it's it's larger than than your kid like roughly the size of a toddler these are big fish uh, so anyway we just keep catching them and catching them and catching them and like at this point we have the entire front of the boat there's like a, a spot that you can open and in that spot we'd store fish that whole thing it's filled up with red snapper, right? Now, the problem is that at the time, Florida had just initiated a new thing where you weren't supposed to be getting snapper because they had considered like them overfished or something, so no one was supposed to be bringing snapper in. And that's the only thing that we were catching that day. So. Of course, I'm just along for the ride. You know, I don't own this boat. If, if shit goes south, it's not my concern. I wouldn't get in trouble anyway. But my buddy, who's the captain, he's concerned. But not so concerned that <laughs> he wasn't going to take those snapper. So, he starts filleting these fish while we're on the boat. And his ass is, uh, he's, he's filleting them. And then he is just taking the uh, taking the fillets, putting them in bags, and storing them anywhere he can on the boat. Because, you know, it's unlikely, but in the event that we were to get hit by, uh, you know, like, um, Coast Guard was to drive by, or, or not even, or Port Authority is, was the bigger concern. You know, any of that drives by, and they say, hey, what are you all catching? Oh, we're fishing. Oh, can I take a look at your boat? No, please don't. You know, it would have been very obvious we were catching stuff we weren't supposed to so he's like screw it i'm gonna fillet all the fish we'll just bring the fillets in because we've never had red snapper it's very good very very good one of my favorite fish to eat um and uh, his dumb ass is shoving him anywhere he can he shorts out something with the boat's electricals now when you're out fishing your boat you typically have uh you know your stern light and, and your bow light you have like a red and a green light on the boat and that's so other boats can see you and know like oh this is the, the front of this boat's coming at me or whatever the case is well these lights are out his navigation's out 
and here we are, middle of the Atlantic, and uh, not not unlike what you'd see here in this game. We are just out there. There is nothing. We can't see anything, and lights are out, navs out. The boat's working, you know, because the engines are, are, are gas powered. Those aren't on, on a system or anything, and we're just like, what do we do? And um, at the time, I liked to do a lot of fishing. I used to used to spend a lot of time outdoors. So I had like one of those military, like ruggedized phones. I had like GPS on it um, and like a compass and, and you know all that shit. So pull up the compass, and the compass is what is you know this is yeah. Remember, this ain't just like a regular. It's, it's a phone compass. So you know you're like, oh, how accurate is this thing? Well, it was accurate enough that, that it was working. And I'm like looking at it, and I'm like, listen. According to my phone, we gotta go this way. And if we go this way, we can make it back to land. <laughs> and you gotta keep in mind, we couldn't see shit. We were just out there. So, you know, nobody is is very, uh, five days, do you have two per day, two to three per day, three days. Three days, two per day. Uh, hmm. Three days holds more. High days. It looks like it'll be bigger, but it's not. Four by four, four by four, five by four. Five by four is nothing. I think we go for the hardy pot if we're gonna do anything. Um. So anyway, we are 150 on that. Jeez, it's expensive. Uh, but so we're, we're. I'm telling them. I'm like, listen, you just gotta go this way. And given, you know, I, I was, I'd usually tag along on these trips. I wouldn't consider myself, like, the master fisherman or anything. Um, and he's like, bro, if you're, if you're wrong, we're, you know, we're fucked. I'm like, we're not. Trust me. If the phone knows what it's talking about, just go this way. So, we are, we are literally on a prayer, cruising in the dark, in the ocean. No lights, so we're like, we look like we're smugglers or something. Um... And we just keep going and going and going after about an hour, hour and a half. What's this? Sounds good. Have information you need. Sure. Um, after about an hour and a half, off in the distance, we see it. The St. Augustine Lighthouse. And uh, that was the the only thing. <laughs> we, we saw that and oh man. We were like, oh god, we, we are good. We made it. We're back, thank God. And I, I don't think I've ever seen a group of people so happy to see land. And uh, yeah, we made it back. We had all the snapper. We never ran into Port Authority or anything. But, whoo, that was a, uh, you know, not not a fun experience, to be honest. Because you know, not, not that unlike uh, kind of what you saw in this game. Just imagine being out in the middle of nowhere. But, like... Imagine being like out here, far enough that you can't see land. You have no lights going on in your boat, and you're just out there with your buddies, drunk in the darkness. That was some shit. Anyway. It's probably one of my one of my better fishing stories. I got other fishing stories I could share with y'all. Storage. Okay, so I need to go. I really I need you need to do some serious fishing or some serious dredging. Rest up, and we're gonna go back to the dredge. I'll head out uh, right around four or five. There we go. I think we'll head out for now. I think we gotta we gotta limit our. We'll do like one one fishing story per episode. That was that was probably my one of my favorite offshore ones, just because I mean we did get a lot of we get a lot of really good fish, illegal fish, and if. Uh, Man, if we had run into Port Authority, his ass... Well, so the rest of us, we all would have just gotten hit with, like, fines for being on the vessel. His ass, they... More than likely, they would have impounded his boat. They would have been like, okay. Boat's impounded. You're fucked. Because they had, like, just passed it. So I think his, his whole idea was like, oh, well, maybe we can just play dumb about it. And it's like, I don't think it's going to work like that. But you are the captain of the vessel. Like this area constantly has stuff for me to dredge, which is good. Because I need wood. Man, 
every time. One piece empty. We need one more metal, but I can always... I can always use more. Actually, this was this was low, so we're probably, yep, coming up on the end of that. Honestly, it's kind of crazy how fast the uh, time moves in this game. We came over, got a couple carts, boom, 4 p.m. Didn't do shit. Been here no time at all. I gotta find another pile of wood. Something over there was shiny looking. Jackpot, there we go. Curl earrings. Alright, it's not bad, not bad. Let's head back to that lighthouse. And we're gonna be cruising in the dark. Let me try and before it gets night night, let's try and cruise our way over half the distance there. Space, no, not really. I got some good stuff. All right, let's go to the shit. Right, well, I do need to repair. What do I need to repair? I don't feel like I even got damaged. I guess it's just my, my regular fish and stuff. Let's get a try dock for the new haul. Put that in there. Man, I really gotta find some wood. Can't believe I'm doing all this. I'm getting five cargo spaces. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. That's nothing. That is literally nothing. Sell those. Got a uh, special fish. I think it's safe to make this crossing. Honestly, I might just start saving on those. Got that. Um, engine. Yeah, 15. That one goes quick. What's this little guy on jet drive? More efficiently, huh? Assume twin prop. I could get this thing. Let's, let's try that. See how much that costs.
eye is getting a little more paranoid. That's a nice, nice little hall right there. We can bring this on in. That'll help us with our funds. That's what I need to do. You know, not even sleep at night. Just do some, some fishing. Okay, and then I want to go to the shipwright. Oh, 410. God. Significantly larger species. I mean, the way I'm thinking of it is larger fish means more profit. Up. Ow! The fuck was that? So I get hit by a water tornado, dude? Mm -hmm. I damaged my lens. Well, shit, I'm already out. It's daytime. Thing came so fast. I was like, well, uh, we're, uh, I couldn't even react. Is a little paranoid even during the daytime, I guess. What the are these possessed ass birds? Arrow squid lost to birds? What the hell, man? So, man, I'm just trying to not. Uninstall. Uh, to cargo. Okay, here we go. Repair all. And then uh, I got a book to read, don't I? Aberration. Oh. Look at my quests here. So what was I what was I doing? I need lumber. I really need to find some lumber. And then as for relics, I haven't done anything there. I'm just so I'm so focused on like, let me just upgrade my boat. We're gonna rest. And wake up at the ass crack of dawn. Right around now. We're gonna put on our. Oh, never mind, it's already on. And then we're gonna go here. And we're. Oh, what was that? Oceanic. Oh, come on. I had something big there. It's like sharks or something. I don't know, whatever they are. Maybe they're marlins? Anyway, I'm hoping they're big and I'm hoping they're worth money. Floppy boy. Damn. That's two of them, and that's it. Uh, I need cloth. I don't think so. 
You'll great, you'll whatever. I'll get it. Who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll come upon a reason for needing cloth later. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Ah, every time I mess up, I just get like terribly off track. And I can't wait till I'm in a mega boat. I'm thinking these, these shark things gotta be worth a ton of money though. the space for that all right fish man 86 a pot that's good though that's 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 what I wanted it's gonna transition tonight shortly If I can get here before they disappear on me. Son of a bitch, man. Every time. Kind of out there. But worst case, I can hit that dock up. Boat's coming for me. Joke's on you, bucko. Uh, I ain't got any space to dredge up the shit I want anyway. I think it's about time I make my way off to another island. Right now the big thing is my money. I'm trying to get my trying to get my money up. Grotesque mackerel. Oh wow. That's a hell of a catch right there. That'll sell for good money. I guess my trolling net picked it up. Ugly little thing. I can't fit a bronze rider. I need a bigger boat, man. See, I would be such a poor fisherman. I would be stacking these fish like they're Tetris up on this boat. I think I'm coming back with just two? I don't know. I didn't spend a whole day out fishing on this water. Two. So priorities, though, I really gotta find a good source of wood. Let me sell all this, and then I, we'll, go, we'll go to a different island. Sell all fish. 214, that's it? I mean, it's not bad, but... I feel like it could have been better. Let me check this. One day remaining. Yeah, it's time to take care of that, too. I like that crab trap a lot. That's... 75? Man, that's that's actually like grabbing is garbage. I should just buy the, the just 
tell this dude, like, yeah, let's just get the stuff. Oh, he wants me to go way the hell out there. Man, it's 11. Can I make that journey? Screw it. Let's go for it. Man, it's far. It's far as hell. Ah, shit. Oh, man. I'm... Uh, what a waste. What is this? I haven't been to that island. Let's go check it out. I get there at night time. That's the thing. I, I, I know I can sell fish on other islands. I just haven't, like gone and explored and that's what I really need to do I need to leave leave the comforts of the starter town and uh, you know, go check out new places new frontiers oh well, it's over here looks like some stuff though who is this weirdo Okay, I'll I'll come back with a blue mackerel for you. This looks like a jackpot. Bag of doubloons, money. Really hoping to get some wood off of that. Gotta make it back to Little Morrow before I get the Thulu. I'm just gonna cruise, and if I need to, I'll I'll pump up the the go fast. That's the play here, I think. Since the game likes to just like pop shit up, like oh here's a rock. Last thing I want to do is be going too fast and then running into. What? Ah, oh, that's whack. That's so whack. I can't believe it. A bag of gold, 55. That's. Shit. Nighttime fishing sucks. Damn, I damaged so much shit, dude. Uh, God, lives for profit. God, achievement. Need wood. Need wood badly. Barely broke even on shit. Um, what was the, uh... Alright, we got you. We got Oceanic Fix. Shouldn't done. I could start, get, get a better engine. Better engine means I go faster, go faster, go farther. That might be the play. It's either that or whatever the hell this is, but I don't need to catch anything that's abyssal. This is what I want. Coastal shallow mangrove volcanic. That's the good shit. Um let's let's start pumping into here for now. Get the bigger engine. I think that's the play. And where are we at? Oh, cabin. Ten percent resilience to panic. Nice, I like it. I got three of those, so we're probably good there. Alright, well, let's wrap things up here. I'm gonna rest up. And we will set on out at dawn. Um, our next goal... I mean, I want to make it our way over here, but at the same time, I kind of want to, like... 
scroll around a little bit. Let me, um, let me, uh, uninstall you. And then, um, It's already 10 o'clock. It's so ridiculous how fast time goes in this game, man. So anyway, wrapping on up. Um, we're going to head on out. I'm going to catch a mackerel for the weirdo. And I'm going to do a little bit of searching around those other islands. See what else I can find. And then uh, I think we'll make our way out farther. So y'all stay tuned. Catch you in a bit more.